Gemini's, let's go ahead and jump straight into your reading. Let's start with this deck. Of course, any information that you need will be listed in the description. If you guys want the September 2022 forecast that is up, I just did like a whole bunch of them. Uh, so you guys can go ahead and get that session as well. Uh, also, if you guys want to join my Patreon, I'm going to be having more exclusive content going up there. Okay, we're going to be posting like crazy this month because uh, I missed you guys and it's been a minute. But anywho, let's go ahead and jump in. What is the energy around my Gemini Sun and Rising and Venus placements here? Ooh. What are they currently not aware of? So we have love and service as the first two cards. So what you may not be aware of at the moment, somebody here still has deep feelings for you, even though they may not blatantly say it. This feels like an old friend. This feels like... The person you have children with this feels like somebody who you had a long-term investment with in terms of time love effort into that connection itself it just feels like there's feelings that are still there that have not been expressed that have not been made clear what you also may not be aware of is this person has been plotting on how to exactly make their way back into your life especially if the way you guys left things off was really weird and you guys could be just in totally different spaces in life at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, for some of you guys, this is kind of random. You could have a coworker that's interested in you. This looks like somebody who you guys may have tried to give the time of day once, once before, but then things didn't necessarily go anywhere. So they could still be like admiring you from afar in the workplace, which is interesting. <laughs> um, I also have service here. So a spirit could be trying to push you guys into some sort of service based uh, type of work, especially if you guys are like creative or you feel drawn to entrepreneurship. Maybe you're supposed to work in a field where you're able to offer people something, you know, something of value, something that is unique to you this card says i feel good when i can help others okay let's keep going gemini summer rising and venus placements energy coming through all right so we have sitting with sorrow and we have bonding with the rhythm of life Sitting with sorrow, bonding with the rhythm of life. Interesting cards to come up. So when it comes to grieving, I, I saw this for, I think, Aquarius or maybe Leo. I'm not sure which sign that was. But with sitting with sorrow showing up here, there could be some grief that is still kind of, uh, how do I say this? There could be some grief that's still sitting in your energy, especially when it comes to a family member that may have passed friendships that may have ended abruptly, relationships. It seems like there's sorrow connected to certain changes in your life that could be sitting within your heart chakra that you guys need to address and you guys need to make peace with, okay? Yeah, what you may not be aware of is this could be affecting your day-to-day -day routine. Maybe that's why you're going to bed so late at night or you get rest and then you wake up and you still feel tired. There could be a lot that's still heavy on your heart and also within your subconscious. Spirit also wants you to stop beating yourself up for what you feel like you didn't do soon enough, that you should have did differently. Understand that everything happens the way it's supposed to. So if certain friendships are souring, if certain things are shifting in your life as of right now, understand that it was meant to shift for you. Then also with bonding with the rhythm of life being here in reverse, this feels like you need to be more so in the understanding of, I don't know why this is messing up over here. Anyways, you need to be in the understanding of life having its rhythm, its ebb and flow. Things go up, things go, things go down. That's just life. And you should never take it personal, especially with this card. Some of you guys could be taking things a lot more personal 
unknowingly when there is no need for you to take it personally. Understand that we all experience certain aspects of life. All right, let's pull some more cards. What is coming through for my Gemini, Sun and Rising in Venus placements? So we have the Queen of Cups, the Hermit, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, interesting. Okay, oh, hold on. These are not in the frame. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, so when it comes to... Okay, so Queen of Cups, the Hermit card, and the Page of Wands, which you may not be currently aware of. The reason why you could be feeling like you want more for yourself, like really bad as of right now, maybe wanting to venture off into like a new venture in your creative endeavors or a new venture and what you're already interested in the reason why you could be craving that is because you're craving more depth you could be feeling like you are too comfortable in the space that you're in now and that you could be getting kind of bored of the same redundant job or the same redundant routine you could be craving a change in routine, something to stimulate you, and that's why you could be finding yourself really interested in new new stuff. You could even be finding yourself just wanting to change your career path abruptly, and what you're currently not aware of is because you guys could be craving something more, something that connects to who you are deep down in the core. I also have the Nine of Wands, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and Ten of Pentacles. What's well, one you guys may not be aware of currently? Also, why you guys can be feeling very disconnected from a marriage, a long-term commitment here. You could be feeling like you're independent from the situation even though you guys are in a relationship. Especially if the stability around the connection is just very unstable like one second you guys are on really good terms and you can't see how things could ever go wrong then things go wrong and then it's like it, it takes a minute for things to get back right so yeah some of you guys could be just ready for a single season <laughs> subconsciously but you're not really ready in the heart space in your heart chakra so that could be the the in between here Gemini's, someone rising in Venus placements. What are they currently not aware of? Yeah, your spirit wants to let go of a burden here, especially for my married folks watching this. It's like you're you're ready to be at peace, but you have so much questions around how you feel and if that's a smart idea, what's going to happen. Then it's the questioning that may keep you there, but your spirit is already tired. <laughs> Hmm. Some of you, I think that September, you're going to be on this thirst for, for learning more. Whether that's learning more of what you already do to acquire more skill or learning more of what you want to eventually shift into in terms of a career path or an entrepreneurial venture. It just feels like what you're not aware of right now, there may be a lot of confusion around what to do career-wise, but in the next couple of weeks, that's not going to be the case at all. So this is interesting. I hope that this is helpful. If it was, definitely feel free to thumbs the video up and subscribe. I will definitely see each and every one of you in the next one. Bye, Gemini's.